Former Trump attorney Michael Cohen returned to the stand today, testifying against the former president. As Connor Hansen explains, it was the defense's turn to examine him, a man who already served time for lying to Congress about his work for Trump. Michael Cohen's testimony began with a description of his role in paying Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep quiet about an alleged affair with former President Trump. The former fixer says he sent invoices for a legal retainer and was repaid in installments of $35,000 with checks signed by Trump. But Cohen told the court the money wasn't for legal services, but to reimburse him for the hush money payment made to help Trump's 2016 campaign. I paid a lawyer a certain amount of money, so I had a legal expense and I marked it down as a legal expense. Cohen was also questioned about his past lies about what happened, setting the stage for a highly anticipated cross-examination by Trump's attorneys. He raised uh, himself up and he stood up to the challenge and testified before Congress and then in the AG trial. Now, where is Mr. Trump? He promised he would testify. The downtown Manhattan courtroom has become a new hotspot for Republican lawmakers eager to prove their loyalty to Trump. I, I called President Trump and told him I wanted to be here myself to call out what is a travesty of justice. The surrogates taking on the job of trying to discredit Michael Cohen outside the courtroom. What we've learned is that Michael Cohen, who has no credibility, who has purged himself multiple times, who has zero integrity, has actually admitted to defrauding the Trump organization. There's no court tomorrow. Trump will travel to Ohio to raise money for his campaign. In New York, Connor Hansen, WDRB News.